So carbon dioxide, everyone knows it, it's a buzzword, it has been for years, almost as much as it isn't taken seriously much anymore, but it is the biggest threat to the planet, possibly soon to be replaced with methane, which is 23, 23 times more a greenhouse gas. So what can we do to do our own little bit and uh, reduce our carbon dioxide output? Well, you can create a machine, an engine, if you like, that will not only absorb carbon dioxide while it's working, but also then at the end of that process, that carbon dioxide, additional carbon dioxide, can be stored away and then it can be repeated the following year. Is it some great 300 million pound machine that scientists are working on that takes years to develop and then legislation and rules and procedures and testing have to ensue to make sure it's, it's doing its thing? No, it's not. It is what we commonly call a tree. And this is what I do every year. I find a tree that can be coppiced, this is common ash in England, and it grows nine feet a year, and they seed all over my garden. I pull them up, I put them in pots, and away they go. These are about three weeks old, and they're already quite big, and in the summer they will come on, and at the end of the year, they'll be about seven or eight feet high, at which point I will chop them off, and chop them into logs and use those logs in the insect habitat and I have no idea how much carbon I will store away and how much they will absorb while they're grown because it's not just the matter that you chop up at the end of the process it's also the fact that they are through photosynthesis absorbing CO2 through their leaves and ex expelling oxygen all year round so it's it's a double whammy and yeah why not if you've got a pot Put a tree in it so at the end of the year i reckon possibly 50 to 100 kilos of carbon will have been absorbed and then i'll store probably 20 of the, that 20 kilos of carbon away after chopping the logs up sorry if you was expecting some sort of dazzling machine but there really is no point we've got these tree machines 60 thousand different species across the planet, 10,000 of which are on the very high endangered list and are due to be go extinct. You don't really think of trees going extinct, do you? But there are 10,000 due for extinction. We've got them doing this for free for us and a seed costs about a dime or a penny. Why aren't we just using these? It's crazy. So it's something you can do at home and it basically looks after itself. I'm not sure what trees to advise on if you're not in England, but I'm sure you'll know by using the internet which one you could use. I just literally grab seedlings all the time when I see them. These ones particularly uh, are good because you can just put them in water and they'll live quite happily in water because I'm waiting to get some more earth out of my composter. But I'll probably have another six or seven tubs maybe 100, 120, 130 trees at the end of it. So it wasn't a trick, it's a serious thing, but uh, I really hope you guys can do something similar and you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Share on Twitter, Stephen underscore where. Cheers.